this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're taking a look at the Yoda Phone 2, which is a Android phone that has two screens, a color screen on the front and an e-ink uh, display, or uh, e-ink, e or yeah, e-paper e display yeah, on e the back. And uh, earlier versions of the Yoda Phone, the, what you could do with the e-ink screen were, uh, was somewhat limited. This one has a lot more possibilities. You can run uh, more of your Android applications. You can run any app you want. Uh, you can see I've got Kindle and Spotify there. And I can just bring the whole of Android now to this side. Uh, let's just uh, get away from my email. There we go. So I hear you. Here you have just Android running. Stock Android, KitKat. If you're a Kindle reader, you can read it. You can read your Kindle book on this side now. And when you do, you can read for five days on a charge, right? Five days on a charge. Um, and also with better visibility. If I if I if I go back to this side and I read on that AMOLED, we have a 1080p AMOLED on this side. If I read my uh, Kindle on this side, I'm looking at 10 to 15 hours of battery. So that's the saving you get by switching certain functions to the e-ink. You know, we don't want to pretend that everything works on the e-ink, like video. Yeah, you wouldn't want to play games on there. Well, maybe maybe some games. For some things, it just works brilliantly. So so Kindle, it totally belongs. Spotify, it belongs too, because you just want to see your album covers. You know, for, for three and a half minutes while that track is playing, you can now you can now enjoy your, your, your cover your cover artwork because you know for three and a half minutes it's not going to change. It uses hardly any energy. It's only use about the same, practically the same amount as if the screen were off altogether. Exactly. Oh. So we also, in addition to mirroring Android, we have our native experience. This, we call these Yota panels. They're completely customizable. So you set them up how you want. I've got my RSS coming in here. Uh, we have partnered with Twitter for a Twitter widget coming in. Um, I've got Yota Snap here, which is you take a screen grab. I've got my boarding pass, which I used to come to Las Vegas from the United app. Um, and this is all our native experience, which is which is tailored for um, the ink. And with Yota Phone One, this is all we had. You know, and it, it it wasn't enough. Now it's actually one one of the three ways of using it. We've got Yota Mirror, we've got Yota Panels. As soon as you want to protect your privacy, you've got the third mode here, which is I ha I haven't got data right now, so you have to give me, but my Facebook album would be streaming right now to bring pictures of my family, you know, to, to cover up whatever is on my daily agenda or stuff I don't want people on the train to see, but actually give me images that mean something to me, you know, and just sit there instead of uh, looking at a back, an empty back of, of a device or a bit of like manufacturer branding. I get to see pictures of my daughter. It makes a huge difference. And so normally, uh, as we mentioned, this uh, device can get very long battery life, especially if you're using the e-ink display. Mm -hmm. You might have noticed that a second ago we saw that it has 1% battery life yeah, left yeah. because you've been using it all day on a trade show floor. Yep. Even if the phone dies altogether, whatever the last Yeah, I'm kind of hoping it here. dies now because if it did, it would come to my boarding pass. Right. The last Yota snap you take, it could be something really crucial like walking directions, an address, a phone number, a boarding pass, a ticket, whatever. When the phone dies, it will come to that. And even as a brick, it still has use.